I haven't I haven't opened it, I haven't played around with it yet. So we'll see how that goes. Is this shit gonna fucking work? G'day chat, what the fuck is going on? Am I lying? <laughs> Okay, it seems to be working now. Alright, yeah, it was... What the fuck happened? Okay, um... Yeah, so I think I'm live. Seems I'm live. I think we're good now. It's gonna do the character creator. I haven't touched it. This is my first time touching it. Don't take that out of context. Let's get started. Yep. Grab a controller and sit back. Yeah, I already know. I hope it's not gonna... I hope the menu music doesn't fucking break my ears and shit. Thank you, Ascendancy, for the $10. It's chonking time indeed. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Why did it open like this? Hold up. Alright, gamers. Uh, looks like we're just working with uh, window mode. Can I... Display language. Can I change my display window? What the fuck is this? Oh, it, it opens weird. Save frequently. There are crash issues. Ugh, that's fun. Alright, let's just go. I'm gonna see if... Yep, my monitor should be fine. Is there like a setting? Dragon's Dogma 2! Oh, you can go into the settings later. Alt enter. Does that work? Oh, that's, that's sick. Thank you. What is this resolution? What the fuck am I looking at? Split. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Display mode. Oops. Borderless window. Ew, why is it in fucking. Ugh. Okay. Yep, keep resolution. Thank you, Alley Cat, for the 199. What starter vocation are you gonna make, Chonk? Um, either Thief or Archer. That's a lot of. That's a lot. Um. I guess, like. Frame rate. Just. Maybe I should have set this up before. My bad. My go. Yep, okay. That seems. That's my monitor's refresh rate. Let's go back. This is loud as all hell. Headphones. Camera axis. Okay, okay. Save changes. Bro, I'm gonna host a poll. I want you guys to pick who we make in first. I feel like it's gonna be pretty overwhelming. Who's in first? Start poll. Now, I already have ideas for what I want my Arisen to be like. The character you create can be carried over to Dragon's Dogma 2. You can also make edits to finalize your character or customize them from a blank display using the character creator. It's actually pretty split. 65 for Chonk. 65-35. Okay, it looks like Chonk's win winning. We'll go make main pawn first then. Um, I feel like I should choose a preset because Chunk Lord was made from a preset in the first game, like, very much so. Oof. 
None of these are particularly good. Create new. Put in full screen. Should be in full screen. Holy shit, 880 viewers. That's like the most I've ever gotten. I'm going to start from new and go from there. If I can't get what I want, I will go back to presets. So this, is, this seems to be the biggest guy. Yep. And then we choose face. Yeah, this is good. Let me choose the faces from here. So we need to find... I don't have a reference reference image next to me because um, Jean-Claude is my son. I don't need a reference image for him. There aren't... Oh, wait. There's another page. Oh, that's how it works. I've oh, got it. Okay, I'm not vibing with any of these. None of these are really Jean-Claude. Can I, like, bookmark one? I'll keep this one in mind. So, three... This one I can probably, like, age up a bit and it'll look like Chunk Lord, I reckon. Uh huh. <laughs> That's not quite Chunk Lord either. Don't think that one is. Um... Okay, this is the final section. Chunk Lord isn't quite this old. These are very, like, you can tell that these were just fucking real people. We're gonna go with this, and we're going to modify it. You can't really age up. The fuck? I'm gonna go with this and see how it goes. Okay, we can, like, customize a bit more from here. This one looks pretty promising. Are there any others? No, okay. Gonna go with this. Yeah, I think... Hmm. This is actually kind of hard. It'll really look like Chunk Lord once he's got his beard and mohawk. That's that's kind of the thing with his... Uh, his design. They have a dirt slash filth slider. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Customize it further. Okay, height 190. So Chunk Lord is canonically 214 centimeters, but apparently we can... Okay, 215. He's 215 centimeters now. He gained a centimeter. Good on him. Okay. Torso length. I can make him taller, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's set that to 40. We'll keep that as is. Muscle style. Oh, now we're talking. Zoom. Camera up and down. Wait. There it is. Okay. Let's take a look at what we got, what we're working with here. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I need to boost his muscle strength. That'll help. Trap size. Oh, his neck. That's right. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm looking ahead. Um, this 19 isn't too bad. We'll keep going. And if none of them are good, we'll go back to 19. Thirty-four is kind of clean, actually. Can I like? Yeah, nineteen looked good. Yeah, nineteen's beefy. Yeah, I I'm kind of like, is there an option later for more, for more like ab definition? I might just go with that in the case if that's the case. Upper body size, gotta make that big. Yeah, make him make him a bit wide. Oh yeah, lower body mass. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna max that out. Upper body size. So Chonk Lord's like... Chonk Lord's chonky in a fit way. So I can't give him like a 
fuckload of body fat. Because his chonk comes from muscle mass. Lower body size. Dumpy? Dragon's Dumpy Arisen? Gonna make him pretty kicked up, yeah. I feel like his arms are definitely lacking. We need to work on his arms next. Okay, back. Head. Okay, we've... Okay, body's done. I guess we'll work on head next. So, let's zoom in. Head size. Okay, we, we should zoom out for that so we can get it compared to his whole body. That's a bit big. Chonk Lord isn't that smart, guys. <laughs> head length? I feel like his head is fine. There's not too much I have to fix about his head. It's He'll start looking better. Um, there's more specific spot. Yeah, I figured there'd be more sliders later on. Head width, um, face height. I don't think there's too much wrong with his face right now. I think I also need to work on the eyes. But I'll save that for later. We'll, we'll try and go through this, like, in order. Shoulder width. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, pretty good. Shoulder width, shoulder size. Oh. Let's bring him in a bit. Chest thickness? Hell yeah. Oh my lord. Chest size, okay. Must affect this. Ah, oh, got it, got it. Okay, we gotta max that out, obviously. Torso width. Yeah. Torso depth. Yeah, I want to bring that in a bit. I was thinking he looked kind of fat. Arm length. This is an arc. We don't need him to have, like, super long arms. Arm size. Oh! Hell yeah! Okay, there we go. Upper arm thickness. Now we're talking. Oh, it's already maxed. He's too powerful. Okay. Put that to 100, obviously. Could... Should I make his arms even bigger? Looking respectfully. Ah, oh, the demo's pretty good, Silver Wolf. I'm, I'm having a good time. I like that it's not a gameplay demo, because if it was a gameplay demo, I'd have to, like, really sweat lord it to learn as much as I can. But with this, I can just wait until release day. Okay. Waste width. Thank you, Derek Do, for the 20. Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> yeah, it's just character creation. There's no, like, gameplay. But you can port over the characters. How does he look in armor? Press X. We have to wait until the end, Lucas. We wait until the end to see him in armor. He's kind of caked up, not gonna lie. Leg size overall. Oof. Yeah, don't make it, like, too big. Thigh size. Nice. Calf size. Yeah, make those make those max. Max those out. How is he gonna carry his chonk otherwise? This respectfully looking. You guys can't make up your mind. Needs more chest hair? I think we'll get to chest hair in a bit. He definitely needs chest hair. Posture. Okay. Movement style. Right, let's zoom out for this. Just I'm gonna take it to the two extremes to see. Ah, okay, so it's like stride length. I feel like Chonk having a pretty big stride makes sense. But I feel like that's a, also a little bit exaggerated. So let's take this down to 55. Yeah, I think that works a bit better. Elbow angle. Yeah, I really care about that, I guess. Let's see. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. It's a very dainty walk. Yeah. Oh, that's that's very Chad, actually. Knee angle. Raise those knees, Chunk Lord. I can't notice much of a difference with that one. Okay, posture. <laughs> Virgin Chunk Lord. I don't want him, like, breaking his back. 
Yeah, I reckon this is pretty good. He's pretty upright. Alright. Let's go back. Not resetting. That was a lot of work. Base head. I'm, I'm fine with the base head. Base skin. I feel like the skin color is actually fine. This is basically just what Jonkwood looks like. Wrinkles. Um, I want to add a few. They are fucking invisible. This is some Baldur's Gate 3 shit. Skin sheen. Nah, I don't want him to be oiled up. Make him just, yeah, keep that normal. Brow? I did kind of want to modify the brows. I think they're a bit too grumpy looking. So... I want them to look a bit more friendly. Brow depth. Oh, I see. Yeah, push that forward. Yeah, that looks good. Brow depth inner. Oh, I see. I see. Yep. Outer. Oh, okay. Brow angle. Oh, yeah, yeah, he looks a bit friendlier now. He doesn't look as, like, pissed. I don't really want him to look pissed. That's not his vibe. Yeah, I think this looks good. Eye height. I feel like his face kind of worked out for him. At most, I kind of want to change his mouth, but I will look at the eyes. I need to change his color, too. Oh, that might be somewhere else. Because I can't, I can't see it here. Eye width. You need to select the skin of him more aged. I think he looks old enough. Makes his eyes a bit bigger, so he's like a little bit more friendly. Nothing crazy though. Yeah, that's, that looks alright. Left closed. Oh, he's winking at you guys. Alright, that works for me. Nose. He looks 30. He'll look older with all the facial hair and shit. I'm not changing the, the skin preset. Wait, wait, wait. Face skin. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. I do kind of dig this one, actually. This one's not too bad. Wait, is that what I had before? If that's what I had before, I'm, I'm fucking stupid. Chonklord's not a very hard character to make. I, uh... I'm glad Pass Me took that into consideration when designing him. Nose length. Yeah, make it a bit shorter. His nose is kind of- yeah, his nose is fine. I don't really see that big of a- don't think I really need to do anything crazy with it. Oh, it is different? Okay. Make his nostrils a bit bigger. He has to sniff out his enemies. Nostril width? Okay. Tip angle. Tip sharpness. He's got a pointy little nose. Now we'll go with this. Ears. I can't even see his ears, but I will see his ears when we change his hair, so we'll save that for later. Mouth height. Are there like preset mouths? I don't think there are. I'll just modify it here then. So I think I want to lower it just a little bit. Mouth width. Make it a bit bigger. He's got a big gob. Yep. Corners. Ah, smile, frown. Give him a bit neutral. I think that works. Lower lip position. Very specific. Oh, underbite. Understood. Okay. 
go with like that, I guess. Jaw chin. I can't really see with his with his beard. I'm gonna get rid of the beard just so I can see his face better. Uh, let me see. Jaw chin. Jaw definition. Nah, he's got he's got a big big jaw. Jaw protrusion. Chin height. Okay. Yeah, yeah, his chin definitely needed to be bigger. I, I was thinking like something about his mouth as well. Chin width. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Intrusion. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. And sharpness. Is he gonna stab people with it? He's got a weapon for that. Yeah, I think this works for me. Shaved Chonk Lord's kind of cursed. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Looking like a retired <laughs> rockstar. <laughs> Let's put, uh, we've already sorted out the chin, so, uh, I guess. Oh, that's everything. Yeah, okay. Let's, um,. Let's pick a beard first. Okay. So number six is promising. I'll keep number six in mind. I saw like 44 options. One thousand two hundred and ninety viewers. What the fuck? I looked away for like ten minutes. Tap A. Oh, for the grid. Oh, thanks. Thirty two is pretty good. It's not not exactly what I want though. So where's number six? Number six is kind of what I'm after. Yeah, I'll go with number six. Um, he has black hair, so... 119. I'm assuming... Yep, yeah, okay, it should be the same. Tip color. Ah, uh, tip color, root color. I don't think he has really a gradient to his beard. Uh, sheen. Does he- oh, he doesn't- he barely has a sheen. I'll turn that on, and then I'll see what this does. I'm barely noticing a difference here. Thank truth. Let's find his mohawk. I'm sure they poured it over his mohawk. mohawk. If they didn't, then, um, Capcom just committed a hate crime. Um, looks like he got a haircut. Oof. Yeah, this is, this is okay, but. Yeah, um, it doesn't seem like I can make it taller. He's a bit more fashion forward now. Yeah, okay. I guess it's fine. He changed barbers. <laughs> this is fine. This isn't too bad. Uh, it, it's alright. Yeah, the hair options were way more limited than I thought. They'll probably add more as, like, fucking DLC. If they added Chonk Wars, like, hair as a fucking DLC, I'll lose my mind. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, wasn't there more hair options? There's only 57 here. I thought there was like 60 something. Baron Pants, thank you for the five. Not gonna lie, doing this with a keyboard and mouse was kind of jank. Yeah, I always play Capcom games with the controller. I don't think they're very good at PC ports.
This isn't too bad. Isuno-san, don't add that hair yet. If we make a DLC, that weird lady will buy it for sure. <laughs> I don't want to buy cosmetics if, if I can help it. I don't want to like... I don't want to buy the microtransactions. Preferably. Body hair? Hell yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. He definitely needs... I think two is the way to go, eh? Body hair density. Oh god, okay, that's that's a bit much for Chonklord. That just makes him look dirty. Chonklord's like a pretty clean man. Like, he's manly, but he, like, bathes. Eyebrows? I guess I didn't really... The eyebrows should be fine, right? Oh, the shape. I kind of liked seven. Um, okay, not too many to choose from. If there's like a more fuller version of seven. Thickness? <laughs> That's a bit much. <laughs> uh, yeah, that works. 75. It was 70 In the original. Um, images. Where's my boy? I should just go onto my Dragon's Dogma screenshot, shouldn't I? Original has smaller eyes? That might be it, yeah. I think that looks a bit better. Hmm. His beard is definitely smaller. His ears are probably probably need to be more closed in. He's also definitely older. Um, I don't mind him having like bushy eyebrows this time, but I feel like, hmm. His nose needs to be wider. And I think his eyes are like, okay. I don't mind them being like slightly different. Holy shit, thank you, Lazy Swayze, for 20. I sincerely hope that your night is going well. I can't wait to see you in chat's pawns in game. How is the demo so far? I know you can't give, like, a ton of details, but is it what you expected? Um, I didn't know what to expect from a demo. I'm pretty glad that it's a, um, character creator, though. <laughs> Maybe lower the mouth corners? Just change eyebrow color. I think I just need to make it like... Where the fuck is it? Um, eyebrows. Thickness. Do I reduce the thickness? That looks a bit better, yeah. Reduce the thickness. Now I need to go back to his brows. And... Round it. Yeah, I need to make them bigger. And then lower them a bit, because they are... Yeah, this looks a bit more like him, I'd say. Brow height, lower that a bit too. I didn't realise how grumpy Chonklord always looked. Yeah, I'll stream the game when it comes out. This ear styles, okay. Ah, okay, so it's it's basically just playing around with the settings, but there's presets. Um, I feel like 2 is a bit more like it. Wait, 2's just the fucking default. Um, what's that on his chest? You mean hair?
Nose is the big difference. Thank you, Venomous Socks, for the 10. My pawn's gonna be a real visual, visual mess. Absolute beefcake of a unit whose thighs can crush steel, slinging around spells. Or buff mage. That's peak, actually. Maybe it's bigger. Yeah, I need to fix the nose. Let me uh, go back to the screenshot. Do I have any other images of him? Oh yeah, this is a really good reference image here. I've got a side angle here. Okay, so it's a pretty pointy nose. Got it, got it. His nose is kind of... The fucking same? Okay, wait. Something else is different. Okay, I think his, his nose is just not wide enough. That's definitely it. I need to increase the nostril size. He needs to smell the fear of his enemies. Make it a bit lower. Nostril width. Yep, increase that. Increase the bridge. Yep. His nose is kind of pointy, so I should probably make the bridge smaller. The head needs to be a bit wider. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, head, head width. I think that looks a bit better. You think it's the cheekbones? Let me see. Uh, I, but I feel like the beard can be influencing that too. The beard's very different, but it's like basically the only one. Um, are there no bigger beards? Yeah, we tried looking through the beards earlier. This is basically- yeah, this one's basically the only one that's slightly bigger. Like, it's a tiny bit bigger, but... Um, I don't like how the mustache part isn't very covered, because he's meant to have, like... It's meant to be like this. It's, it's fully covered. Otherwise, I give him a Viking beard, but even then, that, I don't know, kind of fucks with his face shape. Can't layer multiple beards together? That'd be sick, actually. Yeah, the beard is definitely, like, can't really do anything about that. You can't customize it either. You can set each made character as the main character per playthrough. Oh, you mean I swap them around? I could do that. You think the Viking one goes hard? Really? I think it looks kind of weird on the sides. Yeah, I, I don't really like how the sides of it look. I think the shape of this one is more accurate. Beard 5 looks good. Yeah, but it's too short. He definitely looks a bit young. I, I've got his wrinkles maxed out, don't I? I'm trying to remember where everything fucking is. Wrinkles. Yeah, his wrinkles are maxed out. <laughs> that doesn't make a difference. Oh, I can see it like... I bet if I zoom right in... There's no fucking difference. Yeah, I don't know. Do I have to pick another skin? So, what was my previous skin? 36, okay.
This... This one... Oh, I don't know. I can't tell which one looks older. <laughs> I guess... I think it's 40. I think 40 looks older. For, you like 40 more? Yeah, I think if we then just change the skin colour so he's not quite as pale. Chonkor's out in the sun all day, so he can't be like a pale inside fucker like me. Okay, let's just go along each one. Yeah, I think I liked 15? Uh, 14's a bit... Yeah, 14's less, like, glary. Yeah, I think 14 looks good. This looks a bit better. Try alternate lightings. Yeah, we'll, we'll change the lightings. See how he looks. Hmm. He looks really good in dark lighting. Like... <laughs> Like, this sort of warm lighting makes him look, like, insanely handsome. This is where all the model sh this is the type of model shooting that, um, the- that they pick. Hmm. Yeah, bedroom chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look at the reference again and, uh, I feel like he's closer. I think the eyes... Is it the eyes? Do they need to be angled a bit up? His brow needs to be angled a bit up as well, I think. Nose is too long. Yeah, eye color. I, I, actually, I'll change eye color now because that'll be easy. Holy shit, uh, Raphael. Thank you for the dono. Can't wait to make my original character Sir Tiny. It's Sir Tinyson, a small warrior with high pitched voice. I'm looking forward to watching your content. Cheers. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing Sir Tinyson in the rift. Oh god. Yeah, we still have like a lot to get through. Um. We haven't even scarred him up yet. Oops, there we go. Can I make the brows fatter? I think we have kind of pushed the brows to their limit, but I'll see what I can do. Can What about spacing? Yeah, I think the spacing helps a bit. Brow bend. Yeah, I think this helps a bit. This is harder than I thought it would be. Because Chonklord is basically, like, Chonklord in Dragon's Dogma 1 is just a preset. And then I add the mohawk and the beard and that's it. So he was, like, he's super easy to recreate. Oh, and I max out his muscle mass and height. Cantaloupe, the antelope. Fawn of all creation when. Thank you for the five. <laughs> I think someone actually uh, made Fawn of all. In my Discord server. I didn't recognize it as him straight away though, because I'm, I normally identify Fornable by his low res face. It's the cheekbones that he's missing. Needs a more visible bone structure. How the fuck do I do that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me look at him again. Do the cheekbones need to be higher? I think they need to be higher. Less fat in cheeks? Yeah, make the cheekbones high with depth. Yeah, I think that's it. So, the height's already capped. Nearly- oh my god, so many fucking viewers. Oh, Maybe I just suck in the cheeks. Thank you, Morgana Evelyn, for the funny number. I wish to see Chonklord's grippers. Thank you and love you, Queen. Okay. 
If you say so. Here we go. Here are his grippers. Feet reveal. Hyper-realistic toes. Very, uh... Can I customize his feet? For free? <laughs> uh, no, Morgana paid for your feet pics, guys. Thank her. Cheek depth. We need to, uh... Wait, um, lighting. This is pretty cool, actually. Let's go back to normal. Picture <laughs> chocolate. Huh? Wait, the official Dragon's Dogma YouTube? Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> oh, I see them. Hello. <laughs> I completely missed that until I saw chat blow up. <laughs> Thank you, Devin, for the five. Here's to you, and hopefully... Here's to you and Nil in hopefully massively growing in subs from DD2. For real. Yeah, I hope Nil starts um, posting more often. I saw that he had a few videos up uh, recently. The official channel came for gripper pics. <laughs> Top two sliders determine your face structure. Thank you, NinjaCast, for the dono. Would let him hailstorm volley all over me for sure. I don't think you'd want that, mate. He tends to go a bit far with those. Cheek width. Low cheek bulge. Max width. Let's see how that looks. Oh! Yeah, and then, like, reduce that a bit, because it was a bit too pointy. Maybe just, like, a tiny bit. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better, actually. Thank you. Need him to go a bit fatter. His head does need to be a bit, bit uh, something. Something about his face looks weird from the front. I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, it's been like forty minutes. <laughs> I'm making like this is meant to be a really easy character to make. <laughs> Hold up. Um head size. We'll buff the head size just like a little bit. So it was originally like Okay, what's uh what's 15 like? Okay, make that make that like 20. Head width. Just a tiny bit. Head depth. Yeah, make that I think that actually helps. I thought his face was kind of flat. Neck length. He probably... Do you think he needs a bigger neck? No, nothing too crazy, just a tiny bit. Neck thickness. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's great. Thicker neck, for real. There we go, hell yeah. Upper body muscle mass. Oh, I completely missed this. This can be a reference video. <laughs> Max it out <laughs> if you say so, Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> Shoulder size. Yeah, just a little bit, nothing. I feel like his shoulder width makes him look a bit weird. 
So we reduce that a bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, that was fine before. Chest size max. Chest thickness. Oh, hell yeah. Max that out. Longer torso? Is that here? Torso... Torso length. Oh, uh, yep. Nothing too crazy because then his legs get kind of short. Let's see. Oh my god, he's 140 kilos. Uh, let's see. Upper body size. Keep that there. <laughs> Thank you, Ascendancy, for the 20. This is the best content creator on your games. Think Infinite Cringe deserves a pair package. I appreciate it, but, um... I'm alright. I don't really... I'm fine with being independent. I don't mind too much. Um, what was I working on earlier? I feel like we just kind of started jumping around the place. He looks way better now, though. Let's compare the reference image again. Stop walking! Oh, proceed with this change. No. I'm not ready. My body isn't ready. Why is he walking? Stop. Thank you. I'm- no, I'm staying off that. Okay. He definitely just looks like a kind of younger version of him. I don't think I'll be able to fully capture his- his energy, because the beard is not the same, the hair's not the same. Um... Hmm. Could definitely arch up the eyebrows, though. Thank you, Dark Tangent 10. I tried to remake my DD1 porn run, <laughs> but can't make the voices comically high pitched. Oh, thank God. I need to change the angle a bit. Head. Um. Weren't there like, uh. Wait, brow height? Oh, he looks grumpy. What if you tilt the eyes downwards? I'll try that. Where's eye tilt? Eye angle? Okay, and then what about eye height? What if I reduce that a bit? Yeah, just a little bit, because otherwise his face will look scuffed. I'm gonna push the eyes a bit forward, because it kind of looks... kind of looks a bit weird with his brows being so big, so I push those forward. Eyes even smaller, really? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's compare again. This looks a bit closer, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any better, because it's really just... The only thing that's really different is the beard. The beard's not as long. He went to a new barber. Hmm. The wrinkles are kind of there too. I don't think I'll be able to get the wrinkles perfectly either. Alright. I'm gonna hold a pole. Oh, the, the scars! I've got the scars. Oh, wait. The slip style! I didn't even know! Oh, these are just colours. Wait. That looks fine. Yeah, his, his mouth is fine. <laughs> um, wait, uh, thumbnail. 
Did, did it take a screenshot of my cursor? That's not very professional. Oh, ew. Okay, let's try that again. There we go, perfect. Thumbnail. I don't think I can get rid of um, the UI, but whatever. Photoshop me in the future can deal with that. I don't think we need to change his teeth. <laughs> He's cringing. Oh, like mother like son. Guess what? No. He's beautiful. Thank you, Dragon's Dogma. The Dark Arisen. Oh god. Now we've got fucking Taddy <laughs> and shit. Does Ch is Chonklo gonna get him? His out his eyes are too angry? I guess so. I don't think that's a bad thing. Remove the teeth? No thank you. <laughs> so does Chonklo get a tat? Did he did he give him the dirt? Give him some prison tat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the dirt then. Dirt color. At least have a bit of coverage. Oh god. Pay the chocolate. <laughs> Thank you, bar and pants. I love how you can knock out specific teeth. Yeah, I saw that. We'll play around with that for a bit then. Let's uh let's turn that off. Chocolate isn't that <laughs> oh, where's the teeth at again? You're at. Smile, Tonk Lord, you're at the dentist. Oh, God. Let's put your teeth back in chocolate. He's having a bad dream. Someone wants me to oil him up. Okay, wait one sec. Tramp stamp the chocolate boy, you won't. No, I won't. Not even if you donate retro TJ. But uh where's the Is it the Sheen? It's the Sheen, right? Oiled up lord. He's ready for battle. Let's take some more screenshots. <laughs> Let's dry him up a bit, just a little bit. He still like moisturizes. <laughs> Chocolate is ready for a tuck off. <laughs> Cake him up. Isn't he already kind of caked up though? I, like. He moisturizes. Exactly, exactly. It's important to take care of your health, okay? Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you should still take care of your skin and all that other hygiene shit that a lot of you tend to neglect. I know you do. You're my audience. The oil prevents grabs. That's right, Father Bonte. Thank you for the dono. It's actually kind of a matter when you think about it. That looks kind of hard. What does this say? Oh, I'm fucking illiterate. Chunk Lord with attack goes kind of hard. Chat reflects the streamer. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I don't want anything on the face. This one's kind of cute. I don't mind this one. This emblem looks familiar. Hmm. There's a lot you can do with the tattoos. I'm not going to go crazy with tattoos for Chonk Lord. I'll experiment with the character creator, but not for Chonk. Thank you, Will Chase, for the 20. How about a tasteful lower back tattoo? Okay. 
Oh, you can- can you change the positions? Oh, wait, wait, these are just presets. Okay, wait. Um... No, wait. How do I disable tattoos again? He got a tat and he can't take it off now. Wait, um... Oh, I see, I see. Got it. Got it. Oh, this is... Oh, just reset it? Okay. Ah, oh, yep. Give him tattoos on his man room. No, thank you. Oh, my God. The tattoos seems, like, absolutely insane. Um, Let's try and keep it simple for Chonk Lord. I am not... I'm not a meta gamer when it comes to character creators, I apologize. Body tattoo style. Let's pick a pattern that we like. Wait, um, right arm. Body scars. Oh, uh, let's let's pick scars first, actually. I apologize for jumping around so much. Wait, Chongbo doesn't have Chongbo has a couple body scars, doesn't he? They're mainly on his arm, actually. So. Oh my fucking god, this is so overwhelming. One sec. I know he has scars on his arm. So we'll we'll pick we'll pick a pretty scratched up arm. Yeah, 13 is pretty similar to what he has in the first game. So we'll go with like something else here. Um let me see. I guess number two will do. I want Chonkville to read you bedtime stories. <laughs> um, he doesn't really have, like... I need something for the face. Scars on face? Body scars... Where's, um... Where's face scars? Are they here? Oh, body scar can move up to face. Okay, got it. Thanks. Alright, let's pick a scar. We'll use his burly, girthy chest as a canvas. Thank you, Maddie 11 for the 5. If you want a scar on the face, put body scar with max verticality. Ah, oh, got it. Thanks. I want... Uh, okay, there's not too many options. How about something that's closed up? Because Chonk Lord hasn't gotten hit in a while. This one makes it look like he got scratched by fucking uh, gum or some shit. Resolution's surprisingly good. Like, I'm pretty close up, and it doesn't look abhorrent. Yeah, something like th this will do. This will do. Okay, move that up. Over the eye. I want to change the positioning a bit. Oh, that was a bit too far. Okay, wait. There we go. Rotate that. Rotate that bad boy. And then move it a bit over. There we go. Rotate it a bit more. There we go. Overall scar. What does that mean? Oh! I can just increase its size. I feel like if it's smaller it'll look higher res. So... I kind of wanted to lower it a bit but it keeps changing fucking like everything. Uh, vertical scale. <laughs> what is this? Oh, whoops, I accidentally forgot to, um, re-upload Chonk Lord to the DD1 servers. I'll do that after the stream. If I remember. Vertical tilting. Let's see how he looks from a distance. Looks like he's been through some shit. He blinks so he's not blind, exactly. Opacity? Yeah, I guess we'll modify the opacity of it. Yeah, I feel like it looks better- it looks better when it's not too, like, obvious. You can just see the outline of it. It's a bit better that way. Oh, it separates it into two smaller scars. Well, Chonklaw doesn't get hit that much. He doesn't need two scars. Sheen? It's got a wet scar. Can't really... 
There we go. Can you bring the eyes down a little? Um, I can I can try. I'll see how it looks. That looks alright. Oh, Sheen's good for burns. That makes sense. Make him fatter. He's already pretty fucking girthy, isn't he? What vocation will Chon Claude be? I'm thinking of either making... I can't really decide yet. I'll have to play the game first. But I'm debating between either Thief, Archer, or Warrior. Okay, let's let's actually start the body uh, tattoo now. We've sorted out the scars. They're pretty similar to how to the scars he has in the first game. So let's find a print that we like, and then we just shift that to the back. Oh, there we go. That works. Surfing wolves? Oh, those are swords, not surfboards. <laughs> oh, this one's great. This one's sick. I love this one. 12, 12 is a banger. We'll look at some more though. Let's let's look at them all in order. Yep. He's got he's got a tattoo of his Sphinx waifu. <laughs> Wait, is there gonna be Cerberus in this game? Cerberus confirmed? What the fuck? Um okay. Damn. This one's kind of cool. That one's cute. Some... Someone's having a fucking satanic ritual on Chonkord's abs. I don't blame them, but it's, it's a bit odd. Oh, like a rift! That Oh, he's a pawn! Oh, a rift tattoo would make sense. Oh, what if I put the rift tattoo, like, on his chest? Like, I think I've got an idea. So I lift... I need to scale it down. Oops, that's a bit much. And then uh, we just move it... Move it over a bit. And then... See how that looks. Put it around where your heart scar is? Oh, that makes sense. So like around the center. That's a bit big. Oh, it's so dramatic. Oh god. Mm. I just feel like it looks kind of weird when it's not on a flat surface. His uh, his torso is a bit too bumpy, if you know what I mean. Two, <laughs> one on each nipple. <laughs> Turn up the intensity. Oh, oh, fair. I'll max that out. Um, I'm gonna move it back to his chest. I think I think this one just doesn't look very good. Need to stretch the vertical height. Where's her vertical vertical height? This position, scale, tiling. Oh my god! I can duplicate. Oh god! No, I'm not dealing with that. Vertical scale. Da. Oh! Oh, understood. Understood. I know, it still kind of looks weird when it's... Maybe if I, like, shrink it down a bit. And then... Lower it, and then put it over... To the left side. Okay. Shrink it down a little um, horizontal scale, make it a bit wider. That doesn't look too bad. I don't know if I better on the peck. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Thirty is also a rift. I'll take a look at thirty. Oh, I think I prefer. Yeah, I prefer twenty nine. It's it's a bit more obvious. Yeah, I think it was better on the uh, on the peck. I bet another tattoo would look good on the scar, though. And then we, uh, we just reduce that down a bit.
That looks kind of sick. Make it a bit bigger? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. That looks good. Alright, let's pick a back tattoo now. Um, so that's first tattoo. Edit tattoo 2. Okay, we're gonna make a second one, I guess. Is it down here? Oh, there it is. Found it. Um, so... I really like this one. One of my- my moderator, Gobby, is gonna hate me for that, though. I'll see if there's anything else. If not, I'll go with that. Um... I mean, I do like Fighter. But... Th yeah, I, li I like this one. So, I should be able to push that all the way to the back. Yep, there we go. Then I think we just have to shrink it down a bit. No one's ever gonna see this tattoo. <laughs> Literally no one. <laughs> Scale it up. Um, intensity? Intensity tattoo 2. I can make it metallic? Oh, that's pretty cool actually. Sheen. Make it a shiny tattoo. Let's play around with the lighting. How does this how does this one look? Oh, that's sick. I really like that. I can change the color of it, right? Oh I can, that's sick. Oh wait, I'm changing the first tattoo's color. Should I change this color? I think it looks good black. I'll go with... We'll customize this one, though. Okay, so... I want to make the goblins red, like in-game. Ah, uh, the color's not very strong. I guess that's fair. What about, like, white? Oh, add Sheen to the peck tattoo. Make the Rift one metallic blue. That might be cool, actually. I don't know. I feel like this one... The colors aren't very good on this one. How does it look in different lighting? Yeah, it's... It, I may as well just leave it black. It'll look... better. He's just got a goofy little tattoo hidden. Okay, let's go back to the rift one. Someone said metallic blue, which might be kind of cool. I'll see if that's possible. So there's blue here. That kind of just looks black. Let me let me see if I can turn that up a bit. Sheen. He's got a shiny ass tattoo though. Yeah. It's I'll see if a different color is more, more visible. Yeah, I feel like the tattoo colors just aren't... Yeah, oof. Turn down intensity, really? Yeah, I can make the goblin heads a different color, it's just they don't... They don't look that good. Turn down sheen. It's like, you can kind of, you can kind of notice it. Like, barely. There's no point in me changing it though, it still looks good. So, what if I turn off the sheen? That kind of just makes it look black. Fuck. Um, yeah, that just makes it look black too. So the intensity being lower is better. Opacity. Opacity was just like, faded and stuff. Alright. He's got a silly little tattoo on his lower back. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else I need to change. Oh, 
Uh, you just press the, um, while you're hovering over a color, you just press A and it brings up the selection. Shoulder tat? You don't think two tats is enough? I guess like a little one won't hurt. I can make three tattoos, right? How many tattoos can I have? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right arm. Should be on his right arm or his left arm. Probably his left arm, eh? Okay. Was some of these even here? This one looks kind of nice, but I don't think it blends in. Like, it doesn't match the theme of the others. It always starts with one. <laughs> This Gregory one's kind of cool. Rift tat on forehead? No thanks. Thank god none of you guys are my tattoo artist. Um, I'm just... Whoops. Bit, bit too small. Don't want it stretching up a little bit. Because it'll warp around his shoulder. That looks kind of cool. I don't know. Don't you think it's a bit much though? Well, you think it's alright? I guess it's not too bad, eh? Should I put it on the opposite arm? Do you think it's too close to the rift tattoo? I was thinking of just putting it on his left because it's his non-dominant arm, but... Other shoulder, maybe, to balance? Yeah, yeah, I agree. We'll, um... We'll reset this, and we'll just, we'll just do it again on the right arm. Did I- oh, there's the Grigori print. Push that up. Oops. Oops. Oh my god, it's going out of control. Need to increase the vertical scale, make it a bit taller. It's a bit too tall, and then... Move it down a bit, because it's starting to, like, fade. Yeah, I think that looks a bit more balanced. Gonna reduce it a bit and then move it up, because I kind of want it on the round part of his shoulder. Where it doesn't meet the bicep. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, intensity. We'll, we'll buff to the intensity of it. Chongle's a very intense man, after all. Okay, I think we're done with tattoos. Let's do a quick once-over. Did I even change his eye colour? Oh, I didn't, I didn't change his eye colour. They're, like, blue. Um... Oh god, it's got the iris colour and then the sclera colour. Uh, oh, there's a preset. Wait, okay, that helps. Where's my blue eyes? Blue eyes, white chunk lord. I just need something a bit darker than that. I might just go with 12 and then modify it. 12 is a pretty good base. Uh, just make this. Make this a bit darker. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. That's his eyes. Alright. Oh, it's in the different screenshot manager now. Hold up. There it is. Okay. 
He doesn't look it. He doesn't look identical. But this is my son, Chunk Lord. I think he's done now. It only took one fucking hour. Alright. Finalize. Race, masculine, human, yep, body, yep. Detail cosmetic. Vocation. Gonna see how he looks in the armor. Fighter armor. I'm not a big fan of this one. Like, of this armor, specifically. Oh, they got the feather light pelter. Got it. Okay. See how he looks as an archer. Not, not too bad. He looks better than I thought he would. Chocolate is a mage. Not really his vibe, I don't think. Thief. I don't really like how that armor looks in general. Yeah, you don't like any of the starting armors? Yeah, I don't really like that either. Oh, you should double check your walk from the front if you didn't notice the knee positioning. What, what do you mean? Let me... Um... I need to go back. Wait, can I go back safely or will it remove all my changes? If it removes all my changes, I'm... I'm done with the stream. Oh, I just got a detailed? Okay, thanks. Okay, where was our uh, posture? Posture, okay. So, does Archer have, like, a different posture or something? Knee angle. Did I reduce that? Oh my god! His mohawk jiggles! That's insane! Look at feet. Look at the front. Yeah, what? Alright. I think we can continue now. There we go. Location. Yeah, it looks fine. I think these armors are just lacking in drip. Um, I'm gonna make him... I'll start him off with Archer for now. He'll be an Archer for now. Um, inclination. Kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted, and dutiful. Um, balanced approach with emphasis on support. Doesn't sound like my Chunk Lord. Calm. A pawn characterized by caution favors defense and evasion. That's such a vague characteristic. Um, I'm thinking either, either calm. Um... Enjoys the thrill of combat. Thank you, Saiten, for the five dono. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know that um inclinations affect voices. It's just, I'm not sure what AI I'd want him to have if he's an archer. So if he's if he's playing archer as, as a calm archer, then I guess that means that he'll dodge more and he'll keep his distance. But I kind of want him to be aggressive. So straightforward kind of suits me. Oh. You don't think inclinations actually affect their behavior? Really? But it, it's saying, like, kind-hearted pawns will affect- have an emphasis on support. Or calm pawns favor defense and evasion. Or, um, the simple pawns focus on gathering items. Straightforward? I'll go with straightforward. So we've got- Okay, we've got two types. People here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Oh, okay, I think that's a female voice. What's this one? The people here are evacuated 
and safe. Top five are female. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. I'm going to try the calm voice. I want to see what calm sounds like. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this. Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow and mind the ceiling. It is a weight off our minds to have it done. Wait, three... Three is normal pitch, really? The people here are evacuated and safe. Oh, okay, now he sounds way better. <laughs> there are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Why would they make three the normal one instead of one? Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow and mind the ceiling. Tis a weight off our minds to have it done. Very well. I shall await further orders. I think I prefer straightforward. Let's go back to straightforward. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Splendid work, Master. Of course, I never doubted you for a moment. As you say, I shall remain here till you give the word. I shall lead us to our destination. So do try not to rush ahead. The people here are evacuated and safe. Them Lord. <laughs> the people here are evacuated. And safe. Sorry, I just I have to like go through this there a lot. Are more who can yet be saved. Try to. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Where every shadow and mind the ceiling. Splendid work, master. Of course, I never doubted you for a moment. Yeah, but I, I don't know how I feel about pitched up voices. It seems the rain has abated. As you say, I shall remain here till you give the word. I shall lead us to our destination. The people here are evacuated. Check the other ones. Yeah, I'll check the other ones. We'll go with kind hearted. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in the danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow, and mind the ceiling. Allow me to lead the way. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. Uh, simple. I haven't tried simple yet. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. Marvelously done. You never fail to amaze. As you say, I shall remain here till you give the word. Follow me if you would. I know the path best traveled. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. Well, I want his like inclination to be straightforward, so I just have to pick the straightforward voice. Oh, I just took off his fucking clothes. Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. I think I like straightforward the most. I know you guys, um... There are more who can yet be saved. I don't like pitching the voices. It kind of just sounds... I don't like pitching it, because you can obviously tell that it's a pitched, like, computer-modulated voice. Splendid work, Master. As you say, I shall remain here till you give the word. I shall lead us to our destination. The people here are evacuated. And Jaunty safe. straightforward? Oh, I haven't listened to straightforward female, actually. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Seems the rain has abated. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow and mind the ceiling. Splendid work, master. Of course, I never doubted you for a moment. I wouldn't mind making another poem with that voice. There Maybe later. More who can yet be saved. We're going with straightforward. All right. He looks pretty. He looks all right in this armor. I think the, also, I think the shoulder guard's a bit excessive though. I think it, is it scaled up because of how massive he is? 
was finalized. Name. Chunk. Whoops. Chunk. The wood. Oh god, it's it's goofy on like the first game. I thought they'd fix that. Okay, Monica's not important, but I guess we'll pick one. Um Arcano. Oh, is Chad a name? Hell yeah. There we go. Perfect. Finalize character and proceed. Yeah, let's start playing the game now. Wow, we can play the game. Alright, uh, create a new character. We now have to work on our Arisen! Yay! <laughs> oh boy. So, my idea for an Arisen... Um, I want to- normally I play as a male character, but I want to play as, like, a tall, female knight kind of character now. So, I'll see if any of these presets suit me. No. Nah. We'll start from scratch. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll go to the end. This one I don't have a reference to go off, so it's gonna be, um, just kind of going with the flow, I guess. If I find it too difficult to make a, um, to make a female character, I'm just gonna give up and swap to a, to a male character, because it might be easier. I've always struggled to make female characters. I'm not picking a furry. I'll probably pick furry for second playthrough, but I will make one in the character creator and save it as a preset. These are all the, the grannies. None of these presets are shouting to me. Um, I just need to find one with a face that's like, okay. None of these are giving me, like, massive tomboy energy. Hmm. This one might be... I could modify this one. Yeah, I'm gonna modify this one. This isn't terrible. Yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Make Mercedes no balls? No way. Make that cool barbarian lady? Oh, you mean the character from early, from my uh, completionist playthrough? I will make her, but I, I don't want to play as her, because I've, I've kind of used her a lot. So I'd rather my, my new character be something else. I think, I think this one here is the best. Alright, let's customize further. Height! 190! She's already over 6 foot. That's kind of based. We're gonna keep that. Muscle style B. Let's admire her woman muscles respectfully. Okay, uh, muscle strength. Cap that out, obviously. Okay, let's take a look. Women can get abs in this game, right? Okay, so eight's alright. Eight's fine. See if there's anything better. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with eight. Abs are very subtle. Fuck. Oh my god. Ugh. We'll see how it goes.
None of the female muscles are strong enough? Shit. We'll see how we go. If it's that bad, I'll just make another dude. Muscularity was one of my favorite things about the first game. Is her width okay? I feel like her shoulders should be bigger, eh? Upper, bottom, upper, yep, yep, yep. Big. Yep. Lower body size. Oh, I guess she has a dump truck now. <laughs> I want her to look kind of like normal and grounded. You can still increase muscle mass, yeah. Head size. Her head size is fine, maybe. Yeah, just like one bigger. Head length. Yeah, probably can just like shorten that a bit. Head width is, is probably okay. Gotta increase arm mass to give her massive pipes. Did I do that? Ah. Oh, when I get to arms, I guess. Shoulder width. How do I feel about her shoulders? Could be a bit bigger, yeah. Shoulder size. Chest thickness. Alright. Looking respectfully, chat. I've never played with the boob slider before. So this is just chest, okay? It's not like modifying the boobs exactly. Understood. Chest shape. Is this it? I see. Hold up. Let's uh let's host let's host a poll. I'll be going for a uh what type of booby will our night lady have? So will she have big? Bonkers. Premium, medium, or small, small, uh, I'm hosting a poll, I'm hosting a poll, uh, small, uh, justice sized, start poll. Itty bitty is the proper term, not justice sized, really? It's re it's kind of close. I'll wait until it gets to 500 votes and then I'll end it. I'm not making unrealistically big honkers. Four hundred and sixty three. I'm hoping you guys pick the right choice, even if even if it's like big honkers. Um, okay, and poll. Okay, we're making big honkers, but they're gonna be big in a realistic way. Okay. See, this is this is pretty big. This is pretty big in real life. What about this? The underclothing looks way better than the first game. Like the, uh, you're not wearing anything. Yeah, make it, a, make it a bit higher. She doesn't... She takes proper care of herself. They don't sag. Shit, that's kind of fucking epic. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's really good. <laughs> Okay, uh, torso width. She's gonna- she's gonna be a bit wide because she's got that muscle mass. Um, depth? Ah, yeah, about- about there is good. You should make her traps a bit bigger. 
What's traps again? Ah, oh, here it is. I reckon he is pretty good. Arm length? Make those a bit bigger. Nothing too crazy. Arm size? Cap that. Max it out. <laughs> um, upper arm thickness, forearm thickness. Max that out. Holy shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> Did I get an early coffee? Uh, no. Uh, lower. She's kind of caked up. Just a little bit. Leg size? Yeah. Yeah. Rear size? Yeah. Calf size? It's already maxed. It's pretty fucking good. I feel like our head's a bit too small for our body now, so we're gonna we're gonna increase that a little bit. That should, that should work. I'm looking so respectful right now. She's 102 kilograms! She's fucking huge! Let's, uh, face night. Make her skin darker? Yeah, yeah, I was going to. I was going to. The neck could be bigger. There we go. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. She'll look great in armor. Movement style. She's still, like, I kind of want her to be a balance between the charms of masculine and feminine and feminine, feminine, fem women. So, I'm gonna put her kind of somewhere in the middle. But then that kind of just makes her look like an average Joe, so maybe we'll, like, do that. The angle. Just a little bit. Posture. Uh, movement style. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, make it like around there, that's fine. I don't really like the lean back walk, it kind of looks weird. Her posture's pretty straight in. So I guess we're customizing the face now. Base head. No, oh, I, I like the base head. I want to work around that. Alright, skin color time. I wanted to make her... Oh wait, this isn't... Okay, her skin's fine, but not... We'll make her a bit, like, more... Make her a bit darker. I reckon this one looks good. Looks like she actually goes outside in the sun. Wrinkles. <laughs> Makes no fucking difference. Um. Skin sheen. Yeah, about there is fine. I don't want it to be like an oily fucker. We're, we're working on her face, okay? We're working on her face right now. Brow height. Lower her eyes, uh, lower her brows a bit, because then that, like, makes her look, makes her look more mature. Stronger brows. Gonna have to give her a stronger jaw, too. Did I do that? I'll be doing that at the end, okay. 
depth. Yep, pretty good. Angle. Yeah. That's that's not too bad. Brow bent. Lower that a bit. Yeah, she looks a bit more serious now. Eye height. I feel like her eyes are a little bit high. We could probably lower them a touch. So let's go back to like the default. Yes, you're right. Why does the soundtrack sound like Oblivion sewer music? The character creator soundtrack's way worse than the first game. The first game was like funky as shit. Eye size is probably a bit too big. Makes her kind of look baby faced. That's kind of badass. She looks she looks like kind of sick now. Alright, nose time. I'm not good at customizing noses. It's one of my weak spots. Let's see. I think our nose is kind of fine. I don't really have a problem with it. Maybe make it a bit like, uh, maybe something like this. Yeah, that looks alright. Do I want pretty or strong? I want both. Ears. I'm not too picky with ears. Um... Actually, I did this. Keep overshooting. I'm not making an elf. It doesn't seem law friendly. Because it doesn't look like there's like gonna be interactions if you actually have tipped ears. Why do those ears look so fucking weird? They look like they're I'm resetting them. One sec. There we go. I guess we'll go with this. But then, like, just make them smaller. That'll work. Cheeks. Yep. Poggers. Okay. Width. Depth. Nothing too crazy. I still- I wanted to look kind of grounded. But, like... Also, the hottest person in the fucking world. Is her neck really bent forward? It might be something to do with her posture. One sec. Think it's her traps? That might be it. Let's reset the posture. 
There we go. Just got to kind of chad walk here. That's all right. Maybe uh, her neck's like a bit too long, just a tiny bit. I think that looks a bit better. It's the neck to jaw connection. Oh, okay. Whoop, but. Wait, did I change her eye color? Okay, that's that's in another section, my bad. I'm kind of okay with her cheeks, mouth, okay. Gonna reset that. Mouth whip. Yeah, just a little bit bigger. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Mouth corners. So this makes it look like she's smiling. Make her make her a bit more neutral. That works for me. Jaw slash chin. Give her a big fat fucking jaw. Okay, it's got like. Kind of wanted to make it a bit sharp. In height. I think it was fine before. Chin width, yep. Chin protrusions. Chin sharpness. Gonna stab people with her fucking chin. Her head's a bit small for her shoulders. Maybe. I can I can increase it a smidge. Maybe increase the width. Just a tiny bit. Okay, where were we up to? Jaw, jaw and chins. I think we were basically done here. Yeah, I think she looks good. What's next? Hairstyle. Well, game is okay. Let's go through them all. I don't I don't want to make her like Giga Tomboy. I kind of want like a ponytail vibe. Uh, I'm trying to resist like just making her outright butch. This hair's kind of cute. I don't mind this one. Oh, that looks good too! Oh, I don't like the, the double braids. It's like two... T okay. Isn't this the hairstyle that Elf Girl has? I think it is. Oh, this one's not too bad. I 
Oh, she uses the short version? Got it, got it. I don't mind this. I don't know. Oh, uh, that looks- that looks fine. It's not as good as the other butch hair options. 30 is peak. Which one's 30 again? Oh, I see what you mean. You like 17. We'll go through all the options and see what happens. 17. I think this one's- this one's not quite what I'm looking for. <laughs> Can you look at 22? Fuck! Oh no! That looks kind of good. Um. Hmm. Twenty four. What's twenty four? I'm not vibing with twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you guys are saying 24. I don't really like 24. Fifty-six isn't too bad. I mean I like the hair, I just don't think it suits her. Are we gonna have to hold a pole? Are you guys gonna- Ugh. Wait, which one's 25 again? Hmm, I don't think that one's what, quite, quite what I'm looking for either. So it was... 40? 40's pretty good, yeah. 41. Yeah, that one's also good. 57. 57's best? There's so many different answers. I got the strongest reaction out of 22. Anything but 22, really? 57? Wait, which one's 57? You guys- okay, I'm seeing a lot of people who like 57. Fifty-two. <laughs> There's fifty-two for you. You guys, you guys are all over the place. Oh my god. Number seven's not too bad, that's what she's had the whole time. Some of you guys like 24. I don't like 24. No, I don't like 24. I don't think it suits her. Nine? Which one's nine again? Nine. <laughs> you guys are really pushing 42 or 30? Oh my god, that looks really good. Oh. This is really hard. 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> Chat's going insane. <laughs> Flip a coin. It looks like we're choosing between 30 or 57. 30 or 57? 28. Which one's 28 again? Let me check. Just shut up. Let's, let's do a vote. Let's do a vote. Hairstyle 30. Hairstyle... 57. I think it's between those two that you guys like the most. I kind of can't decide between them myself. So here's 57. 
do a quick rotate. Rotate. Then we'll go back to 30. 29 is good. 29's... Yeah, 29's pretty good, actually. I think I like 30 just a bit more. Remember when we loved 22? I love 22 still, but I think I like 30 a bit more. It's, it's kind of close. It's kind of close. We may have to hold another poll. Thirty softens her too much, but then some are saying Thirty's got tomboy energy. Thirty or twenty-two. Twenty-nine versus thirty. Okay, we're doing it. We'll end the poll and we'll do a twenty-nine versus thirty. This is the finalists. So I'll keep- I can keep rotating between them. Thank you, Will Chase, for 10. 30 is Fem Todd Howard. Will this donation skew the votes towards 29, now that people have made the Todd Howard connection? 29. Or 30. 29. Or 30. It's really close. 51 to 49. 29. 29 is pulling ahead. I think the donation may have had a say in that. 29 is so hard. <laughs> 29. 30. Thirty. How many votes we at? This poll is like U.S. election. <laughs> we will stop at five hundred votes. Everyone, get voting. Twenty-nine or thirty. It's really close. Fifty-one, forty-nine. Twenty-nine. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Can I see them in armor? I don't think the hair will make much of a difference in armor. 29 starting to pull ahead. We're getting close to 500 votes. 500. 29 wins. Looks like we're going with 29 then. I don't mind 29. Alright. Let's change the color! Now we have to focus on the color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it toggle equipment, really? Oh, interesting. This armor just looks like complete ass, not gonna lie. It's so fucking. So fucking ugh. Um. Hair color time. So she does look good in black hair, but I wanted to experiment with blonde. Let's see if we can find some like good blonde colors. We might get make her um. Thank you for the five, Duke. Vote was rigged. Yeah, you can blame the previous donation for making the Todd Howard comment. Fighter armor looks better on normal sized people. Yeah, fair enough. Buff mummy discrimination. We'll find some armor that suits her after the game comes out. These are some awful blonde hairstyles. What the fuck is this? She looks like she... Huh? Silver hair? I feel like white hair might contrast quite well with Chonk Lord. We'll, we'll experiment with white hair. How does this look? This makes me look like fucking V. The hair colors are kind of bad. I guess I can experiment with the lighting at least.
Whitish blonde? Okay. Oh shit, I can't tell with that lighting. One sec. So that's straight up white. Looks kind of weird. These blonde options aren't as bad as the other ones down below. Blonde would probably look better if she had, um... Uh, what was it? Longer hair. If we went with longer hair, she'd probably look better. One, four, two. Yeah, I don't think white hair slash silver hair is the, the go-to. Shit. Fuck, this looks kind of hot. 46. You guys are recommending 46? Oh, 46 is a good one. That's good. 38 looks good. So does 46. It's kind of like a... Yeah, needs freckles if she's going to be a ginger. 131 with slightly lighter tips. What's 131 again? Hmm. I don't really... Yeah, I don't, I don't vibe with that one. What were you we looking at earlier? Like, uh, 38 and 46. That's right. Try the different lighting. Fuck. Okay, wait. Okay, so... Here's 38... Here's all the different lighting. We'll rotate the light. Okay, so that's 38. Let's go to 46. Don't forget hair tips. Yeah, we're just trying to decide on a base color now. Whoops. Hairstyle. 38. I think I prefer 38. Yeah, I don't really like... I don't really like 46 too much. We'll see if there's any others. Thirty-eight. I kind of like 38. Alright, tip colors. So she's got... Okay. So we could give her, like, really dark tips. Which is pretty nice. With lighter ones. I don't like the lighter tips. We could have best of both worlds and combine 38 with 46. Otherwise we just go for um like really dark tips. Root 46, tips 38. We'll try swapping them. So... 38. We'll see how it looks. It's not, that's not too bad. I think I still prefer 38, though. Oh no, she looks like the protagonist from fucking Immortals Phoenix Rising! Oh god. No, I just- I just realized. <gasps> okay. She looks like Fiona, too. <laughs> It's okay, nobody played that game. I played that game! I finished it! <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Do we just give her brown hair? Oh, that looks nice. Shit, that looks- Oh my god, fucking- Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I don't mind this one. I just kind of stumbled across it, but that, that looks really good. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> let's uh, let's manipulate the roots. So it's at 
50 by default. Yeah. I think I liked it at 50. Maybe maybe tone it down a bit. Maybe like 45. I like 8181 for brown hair. I'll try it out. I'll try out 8181. I feel like this makes her hair look a bit too red. Go with like uh, 45. Now her hair looks oily. Motherfucker, don't wash her hair. We'll leave it at like 20. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Alter the position to make it more natural. Which position? Oh. Sheen pos Oh, I see, I see. Do need to work on our eye colors as well. Thank you, Glitlock, for the 20. Have I tried the titty slider yet? Yeah, sorry, you missed the titty slider arc. She looks hot and relatively realistic. Thank you. That was my goal. Let's play around with the lighting a bit. Sorry, I'm just kind of admiring her. She's a lot different from what I imagined she'd be. She's way more butch than I intended, but like, you know. I don't mind. Can you make girls flat? Yeah, you can make them flat. Fuck, she's so hot! Oh my god. Oh, we haven't even got into, like, colours and stuff. Do her eyebrows need modifying? No, her eyebrows look great. Never mind. Eyes. She's got brown hair. Do we give her blue eyes, like, Chunk Lord? Let's go through the presets. Wait, there's eye styles? Let's, let's just keep it simple. Stick with one. Um, green eyes. That guy's kind of hard. That looks kind of cute. We'll see uh, if there's any others. <laughs> she's so bi, she's hello. <laughs> Bro, literally me for real. Um, blue's like whatever. Yeah, I kind of liked green. Let's go back to green. Yeah, I like these sort of dull green. It looks a bit more realistic. Yeah, that looks cute. Fuck, she's so hot. Um, eyelashes. I think she looks fine. Oh. <laughs> Uh, screenshot. Wait, no, go back, go back. There we go. Oh god, you guys want me to remove her teeth? Okay. 
She's gonna be the teeth. Um, eyeshadow. I'm so fucking bad with makeup. Um, she's already got an eyeshadow style. I think the game already did it for me. <laughs> yeah, I think the game already did the makeup for me, so I'm, go I'm gonna leave that up to the game. Does- are we gonna give our homegirl tats, though? <laughs> Sorry, the fucking teeth <laughs> Thank you, Sam Maunders, for the dono. Making your YouTube profile picture? Really? You'd replace Chonk Lord like that? I don't know if Chonk Lord would appreciate that. I think he'd be pretty fucking- dope. Oh, look at Freckles. I forgot about Freckles. Um, where are Freckles? Skin. Um, wait, where is it? Wait, where, where the fuck is Freckles? Is it here? Oh, here it is! I'm fucking br I'm blind. Okay, one sec. Observing. Respectfully. Oh, there's not many types. Okay. Um, we'll go with, like, the light. Kind of like that. And then we change the color. Turn down the opacity a bit. How does this look, gamers? I think she looks alright. I think she looks cute. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, body tattoos. We'll give her, like, one tattoo. She's not like Chunk Lord, who spends way too much on tattoo artists. She's a bit more financially responsible than him. Thank you, Baron Pants, for the five. How long till someone makes cluets? The select sword, you your reckon? It's not gonna be me, that's for sure. Um... A belly tat? Make one on the neck? Can I marry her respectfully? Only if she consents. I can't decide where I want it. Um, Forearm tattoo? Yeah, do you think something... Okay, some people say no to tattoos, but I think like a small, like just a small one um, would, would be alright. Maybe just on her arm or something. I think a tattoo sleeve doesn't count as like small. I, I am gonna see if there's any like good sleeve tattoos though. Arrow on the knee tattoo? Fuck. Okay. Fine. 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 Is it the re left knee or right knee? I think it's- I think it's the left knee, isn't it? Rotate. Shit. Oh my fucking god, the scaling. Just chill out. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. We're back in 2011. 
Simpler times. I wasn't even old enough for my parents to let me buy Skyrim at the time. I think that looks alright. As for a real tattoo... I don't want to put something on a belly because, like... Um, I I'm 21 years old. Calm down, guys. Um, if I put a tattoo on a belly, it's going to cover up what limited abs it shows. Might do another shoulder one. Chunk Lord was right shoulder. She'll be left shoulder. Sorry, it's taking me so long to decide. Is there anything sexy? Wait, why are there boars? What are you guys are saying? Neck tattoo. We'll take a look at neck tattoos. Is it an option? No, I have to. I have to do body and then. Okay. Seventeen. Tiny little Grigori. She oh my god, it's microscopic. <laughs> oh, whoops! That's a scale, not position. Make that a bit, uh... Yeah, that looks good. Put that, like... Tattoo around her neck like a choker? Maybe. We'll try out a choker. If not, we'll just go back to Grigori. I don't know which one of these choker ones I like. I haven't played the game yet, so these a lot of these symbols are like unique to DD2, so I don't have an emotional attachment to them. It's not like the Rift one. I know what this is, so I have an emotional attachment to it. But it's like this? I don't know what this is. Um, all those flowers are cute. It'll make her look more feminine. I'm not adding a Grigori choker. <laughs> Some of you guys seem to like the flowers. I, I kind of like the flowers. It'll help balance out her, like, butchness. I kind of like the vines, actually. I like these vines. We'll see how these go. Yeah, I know that there's, like, more. Um, rotate. Or we'll rotate it the other way. Don't ask why that matters. It just does to me. But put that, like, here. Vertical position. Horizontal sketch. Oh, whoops. I forgot that it's rotated, so I'll have to do, uh... Okay. Um, it's a bit confused. Okay, okay. I think it's I think it's come together. So we'll increase the overall scale. Then the vertical scale. They kind of lock here. I need to rotate it. I think I did rotate it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm doing it right. Or maybe this one just doesn't... This one might not, um... Might not look good. Use tilting. I'll try tilting. Holy shit. What the fuck? That looks way different. One sec. Ew. 
It looks good at the front, but I don't know how I feel about it at the back. Give it like three tiles? Okay. The vertical tiles, okay, wait. Ah, oh, I see what you mean. And then, um, separate them a bit. That doesn't look too bad. How does it look with two? I kind of liked the gap in the middle. Oh! Oh, I kind of dig that. I just, I think it needs to be centered a little bit. It looks good at the front. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, so. Where's, uh, position? Position. Move it a bit. Gap on both sides, yeah. That's not terrible. It's kind of too big. I guess I can reduce the scale. I think it starts looking distorted if I reduce it further. That one. The vertical scale. Put baby Gregory in the empty space. On the back. I'll do it on the back. Um... Edit tattoo two, and then we'll add, we'll add little Grigori. Wait, where, where is he? He's over there. Okay, come up here, buddy. Oh wait, did I press the Griffin? No, that's Grigori. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I've never put this much effort in a character creator in my life. Oh no, I can't- I feel like I can't center him right. He kind of clips. Wait. Reduce scale. Try again. That's probably the best I can do. Unless I modify this one up here a little bit. Yeah, I think if I do this, it looks a bit better. Then I'll, um, rotate him. I'll try rotating him. If only I could just do half of that, like, 50.5, it would be better. Vertical position. Yeah, I think the vertical- okay, that looks fine. That looks fine. What a cutie patootie. Does she need scarring? I feel like if she has scars, then that implies that she takes damage, in which case she has a massive skill issue. Scars. Yeah, I'm gonna skip on scars. Chonklaw's got enough scars for the both of them. She's never been hit. <laughs> yeah. Confirm. Now we need to pick a voice for her. Chat has gone deranged. <laughs> yeah, these characters transfer to the full game, so I want to get my characters done now so I can start playing immediately. Oh wait, three is the normal- yeah, three is unpitched. Okay, I was thinking- I was like, what the fuck? Oh, 
Such a weird choice to make it three. No, I don't like that one. Somber. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's... Oh, I got it. There's two male, two female. Okay, so we just have to pick. Yeah, those are the um, male voices. I'm not giving her a man voice. You guys like valiant stuff? <laughs> No, I think I prefer Valiant. <laughs> Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll do a poll. I'm not too invested. Valiant or Indomitable. Seeing a lot of valiance, sixty two per cent. God, we've been at this for way fucking longer than I wanted. I didn't think Chonk Lord would take so long. And then she took even longer than him, I think. Looks like you guys want Valiant. I don't think Indomitable is gonna catch up. You should be invested, that's what you'll be hearing the entire game. I just don't care, like, I, I just don't... Neither of them sound, like, particularly better. I think I probably slightly prefer Valiant 3. Two hundred and sixty-two. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. End poll. 271. Looks like I'm going with Valiant. Vocation. Fighter, obviously, but we will take a look at how she looks and everything else. See, none of these armors, like, fit her body very well. She will be a, th oh, a fighter, though. Now, the true quest, the true, the true question. What do we name her? Do we give her a real name? Or do we just call her Infinite Cringe? Cringier jeans. <laughs> oh god, sorry. <laughs> Okay, there's, there's a fucking lot of these. Um, fuck. Uh, Monica first, base the name around that. I've never done that before, so. It's better than these fucking Joanna. <laughs> oh, I dilly choked on my hair. Oh. oh god. Infinite cringe in Latin. Let me Google translate that. <laughs> English to Latin. Infinitium cringe. Infinitum cringe. <laughs> Let's do it one at a time. Does it even translate cringe? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I 
Infinitum cringe. <ride> Use an anagram generator with infinite cringe. What's an anagram generator? Cringe infinite. <laughs> Fainting. <laughs> Insight refining. <laughs> Do we call it Jennifer? <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> is that the name we go for? Jennifer? <laughs> I think Jennifer is destiny. <laughs> okay, um. Let's, let's, let's just type the name because Jen. Jennifer. Oh god, it's still got the clunky fucking UI. I'm not used to that. Let's pick another one with G. Is that chat it? Damn it. So my, people kept asking me to call her like Jean Dogma, so I'll go with Jean. Or Jane. Jane Dogma works too. Is there a Jean? If there's a Jean, I'll use that. Yeah, there is. Jean Dogma. Jennifer is a name you will regret 20 minutes later. Is that foreshadowing? <laughs> Joanna Dogma. <laughs> Can change it before launch. Yeah, that, that's fair. Jennifer almost sounds medieval though. I don't know. I'm gonna go with it for now. If it's that bad, I'll change it. Yeah, I can just edit it again. Confirm. Finalize and proceed. Turn to title. Can I, like, look at my characters? Character creator. Do I not like her? Oh, there she is. Home girl. Let's go. Uh, let's go back, and then Chunk Lord. We'll take another look at Chunk Lord. Uh, no, no. I just, I just wanted to look at him. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to look at them in detail. <sighs> yeah, she looks pretty hot. Should we start on the Beast Ren now? Choose a preset. Now try making a cat. I want to make, like, an absolute Chad furry man. I want to look at this fur texture. Shit, that's so fucking good. That's really good, actually. What was that? Was he licking his lips at me? Make the hands, the hair stand up. You can make the fur longer too. Shit, this is going to be so much. Oh my god. 
<sighs> okay. Oh my lord. This is too much for me. This makes him look kind of blurry. I'm gonna go with one. The pattern. Hmm. Can I... I want to change his body. He needs to be bigger. There he is. Okay. Alright. Let's choose a base head. Ew. Guess we'll go with that. Why does he look worse? I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm, go I'm going back to the preset. We'll go with this. And then we'll change the body. His head was already good. Detailed customization. Um, God. This is a lot. Okay. Um... Should we pick? Should we pick a uh, a cat to base him off? I feel like he should just be a straight up lion, eh? So no no point in like fur patterns. Pick his colors. Jesus, I want to make like a like a sexy sexy big lion man. His original fur color was fine. White lion. Mm, that might be cool. If the blood physics are really good, then like maybe the blood will stain his fur and it'll look like fucking sick. That looks kind of that color's kind of weird. What's this one? All these whites look kind of weird. They look more blue than anything. Is there like a better... Is it maybe the base I picked? Turn up the color intensity. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Got it, got it. That looks a bit too bright. See the presets to get some ideas. We were looking at the presets earlier. I just want like um uh... Let's just reset him and we'll we'll look at presets. We didn't really do that much. Body uh no. Is it creator? Um choose a preset. Fuck's sake. <sighs> okay. Um, make his body big. We'll make the body big. Okay. I'll preset first settings. That's what you fuck. Oh, okay. Alright, 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 Yeah, one's a bit too bright. That's too grey. I don't think I don't think white's gonna look particularly good with like just because of the contrast really. Could make him edgy black. This one's not too bad. It's not as dark as this. It's a bit more brown. 
Yeah, we'll be changing the hair color, don't worry. Just want to look. Okay, I kind of want to change the stomach color. Oh, wait, it also changes the face. Why does it influence so much? Okay, um. I kind of want to see if, like, a dark brown would look good here to, like, balance out the colors a bit. A little. A little. So that was color 40. Just turn it down a tiny bit. Yeah, sorry, I hate everyone who's under six foot. Too bad, so sad. Muscle style. Okay. P pay close attention, everyone. I can't see them. Oh well. I'll just uh I'll just assume that the game's got uh got big tets. Bigger big muscles. Buff that up. Buff that up. It kind of looks like ripped as shit already, though. Caked up. Head size. Make it a bit bigger. Head length. Isn't too bad. Yep, that looks alright. Shoulder whip. Big. Big. Max that out. Hell yeah. Max. And, uh, that was pretty good, and make that a bit bigger, arm length, make that a bit bigger, arm size, max. Forearm thickness, max. Lower body. Arse expansion, activate. What size? Jesus Christ, he, he, that's, a, that's a massive fucking dumpy. Big leg, big thighs, big calves. Uh, yep, works for me. Base head. Okay. So number two is what we got before. Oh. Okay, there's there's only two of them. Got it. Alright. I want to make him look angrier. Big fucking brows. Brow bend. Hmm. The art of making a fursona requires a lot of introspection and thought. You guys wouldn't understand. Can I make him- I can make, uh... Apparently I can make the eyes squint. Can I make both of them squint at the same time? I guess I'll just set them to the same. So, 58. 58. Oh, Yeah, he's, st he's starting to look handsome. I need to angle his brows a bit. Um... Brow bent.
Eye height. I've already done all that. Nose length. This is an important part of making a first signer, everyone. Make his nose. Big noses are pretty cute. Can I make it sharper? Pretty good, pretty good. I have a lot of experience making Khajiits in Skyrim. From when I was a kid. I make orcs these days now. His snoot looks very boopable now. I think the good thing about making a beast run is that we're not as picky about the face of an animal. So I'm able to get through this way faster. Cheek and neck thickness. Make his features a bit sharp. I need to change his hair. It's kind of like... Let's pick a different hairstyle. That mohawk isn't terrible. There don't seem to be tails, no. <laughs> it looks like he'd be in a shampoo commercial. I guess I'll change the colour first. We'll focus on the colour first, because then we can work with that. It's not the same. It's bothering me. That looks... That looks a bit closer. Am I able to get the same exact colour as his fur? So, 22. Can I get that on hair? Oh, no. Okay, it's completely fucking different. Got it. Close enough. 13. Oh, you mean the hair? Lighter to contrast the fur might be good. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, now we need to fix his facial hair. Okay, so they have specific racial beards. Understood. So it's no beard. Don't really like how that looks. Shit, that Viking one goes kind of hard. Let's uh, let's play around the colors with this. So it should be two. What were the colors for my hair? Twenty-one and one. So twenty-one, and one. Uh, I think the sheen's different, so it's not matched exactly, so... Let me see. 50... And 6. That doesn't look too bad. Give him the kitten voice? What kitten voice? My man is impossible to see at night. Yeah, he blends in. You won't be able to tell where you are in caves. <laughs> you know, that'll that'll work for the enemy though. He looks kind of sick. I might make his beard a bit. He has the problem where he just turns into a fucking like I can't make out the details on him, but maybe that'll be fine. I wish to get just get away from porn. The gazer literally can't gaze upon him. It's meta, guys. You don't understand. Teeth. Okay. 
He brushes his teeth enough. I'm not making black teeth. Claw colors? Oh my god, yes! Where's claws? Let me see. They're already black, so that, that makes sense. I want to change his eye color. Do we make him an edgelord red eyes? Oh my god, I kind of want to. Slit eyes, yes, yes, we'll go with slit eyes. And then, let's make them red. I'll look at the presets for a red base, and then we just make them super vibrant from there. This might be the closest, so it's 43. Yeah, it's 40, 43, and then we, we'll go from there. Oh my god. Oh, I could contrast a bit with, like, a really deep orange to make it kind of look fiery. Oh, I guess you, you use, like, red as the base. So I could go with, like, 35 and then make this a bit more orange. Yeah, now they look like fucking fiery demonic eyes. Oh, yeah, I think this might be it. Can I make them a bit deeper? Uh, I guess I'll go with, I guess I'll go with, um, go with red. Have fun making your porn in Arisen, Larry. I can barely see his Scalera anyway. Next character could be an orc recreation. Are there even tusks in the game? I don't know if I have the skill for that. I could try. Oh, I can change the sizes. That looks kind of cool. This looks like- I would have made this exact character if I was like- back when I first played Skyrim as like a 13 year old or whatever. This would have been my exact character. This is the character I would have made. Like, to the- to the slider. Alright, um... I guess we'll go with Scars. Scar presets. We'll look at the Scar presets. That looks cool. This one's also kind of neat. Go with, we'll go with seven. Keep it simple, but I, I want to change the position if I can. Oh my god, they combined two scars. There we go. Wait. Center that a little bit. Boom. Eye scar with squinty eye. I'll give it a go. I always just assumed he blinked. That's so edgy. Do closed eye? Do closed eye entirely? Oh my god. Jesus, he's so fucking edgy.
Let's see how he looks in armor. Oh, we gotta check the lighting. I completely forgot. Oh, we'll go through like this stuff. Oh, we gotta pick a voice, obviously. I think Gallon Knight's better. Yeah. That one's the go to. I want to see him in lighting. I completely forgot to test out the lighting. You can barely see him at night. <laughs> oh, he's awful. Oh, he's perfect. D does his feet have claws? Um, just, just check. Just checking if his feet have uh, claws. What the fuck? Clawless feet. Toenail looking ass. Bop it up. Burp, burp, burp. Give him a collar with a little bell to hear him coming up. <laughs> Togo equipment. Oh, look at him strutting up. That looks kind of sick. Let's change vocation and see how he looks when he walks. Are his pecs so massive that his strap like hovers away from his chest? <laughs> his hips might be too wide, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah, I think that's that's probably quite likely. They look fine here, it's just when he's wearing armor, it's a little bit more noticeable. Oh god, where is it again? Yeah, that works. Alright, gamers. He weighs 132 kilograms. You think it's the thighs too? No way, I'm not- I'm not changing his thunder thighs. No way in hell. I don't care if he gets, like, a rash in between his legs. I think he's done, isn't he? Yeah, finalize. We picked a voice for him, all that's left. Is his name. Do you guys have a name for this fella? Cause I sure as hell don't. Um, Edgelord's a bit too basic, mate. Fluffmaster. <laughs> Infinite Edge. No, this isn't my Arisen. It's, um, this is like, just a test character. Discord kitten. <laughs> Call him knight in Latin. That's very edgy. That might be in character. 
English, and Latin. Nox. Nox. Nox is a very uh, simple, simple name. Shadow Fang, go all out. Oh, I have the perfect idea. I have the perfect idea. Fantasy name generator. Pop culture. Oh my god. Okay, gamers. Alright, alright, alright. We're in the warrior cat name generator. <laughs> let's uh let's look through some of these and find something absolutely spectacular. Um Speckle Paw Fishback. Don't know why there's an apostrophe. <laughs> Old Lightning <laughs> Shadow Star! Swift Snow, Quiet Sky. Rubble, Black Petal. Dusk Pour. <laughs> do we go into the furry name generator or do we go. Do we keep with this? Maybe we go into the furry name generator. Do they have one? Um, other names. Persona. Do they have Persona here? I'm not seeing one. Other... Pop culture? No. Okay. Maybe it's in the fantasy section? Persona names, there it is. <laughs> okay. Grim Fennec Hardbane. Magic Fang Old Bark. Free Dog Angry Pack. Crystal Wolf Fine Blade. Grey Bat Eager Shadow. <laughs> Simple Mane Large Mane. <laughs> Thundercakes, thank you for the dono, Wrangler. Thundercakes is really good, actually. Yeah, sorry, Monsoon, you missed Chonk Lord creation. How do you guys feel about Thundercake? I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of I dig Thundercake. We'll go with Thundercake. <laughs> this will be like my secondary character like once i beat the game for the first time this will be like my my second character my second go around dog we're going on dog <laughs> Thank you for the dono, final Schlomega. Moon Moon? He's not a wolf though, we can't use Moon Moon. He's a cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it was a wolf, I'd go with Moon Moon, trust me. Okay. You may only carry over a single character. Oh shit. Well, no, I, I don't want him. I don't want him carried over. I want, um. What's her name? Ginnifer. I want Ginnifer carried over. Alright, looks like we're not gonna be able to use this one. <laughs> He's still saved though. We can still admire him, right? Holy shit, he's fucking massive. He's huge. Oh god. Okay. Um Do we like do we make one more character? Do we make a um female beast wren and finish off? Do all of them? 
choose a preset. What's um stay in stay in menu for a sec to get cutscenes? Fine, fine, we'll, we'll we'll go we'll go look. Alright guys, looks like we're going to AFK there. I haven't really decided what I'd make the female beast run anyway. I feel like we've made a lot of big people. We should probably make like a like a small character next time. Like those are uh, some real like sussy persona shit. Yeah, it's just a trailer, isn't it? I'll take a look anyway. If it's if it's that boring, I will um I will skip. A tiny mage. We could go with a tiny mage, yeah, that sounds good. Unfortunately the the mage strip kind of fucking sucks. Thank you, Baron Pants, for the dono. Goblin kitty girl? How do you make a goblin kitty? Do I make her green? Or red? At last! At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the console. This is the first time I've seen this trailer without the YouTube compression. Of the sovereign. Look at this goofy ass fella in his goofy ass shoes. That's a sexy griffin. Don't mean that in like a weird way. Welcome, Arisen. Hello. Final. Learn all you can of this world. You must protect. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. From this moment forth, thou art arisen. This guy looks cool. Thumb in the open. Here's my chance. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here? What is your purpose here, Arisen? If you sought to live, you need not but run and hide away. But then... Wife! Sorry. I just think Ulrich is really cute. On the footpath, hopefully. <laughs> Silly dragon. If he intend to do what I could not, and dragon forge looking ass motherfucker. I would gladly pass all the wisdom I possess into your hands. That's some sick armor. This character creator is so good, I managed to make my Arisen look almost identical to my dog. I think that's that's you, not the character creator. You must be very skilled at these. Let's make a tiny little little goblin mage, as someone said. Gotta make a goofy character. Um, go with you. Why am I using mouse and keyboard? Wait, there we go. Um... Short stack. Oh, she's kind of thin. She's not a short stack. Oh, base head. That's an awful face. We'll go with this one.
So, um, do they have a do they have the color green at all? These are kind of more black than green. I don't think I'm powerful enough for this. We'll go with, uh, we'll see about red. So they're like dragon's dogma goblins. Yeah, I know there's no advanced green. Silly, silly billies. Silly billies in chat. Wait. Oh. <laughs> she looks like a. She looks, <laughs> she looks like a Torito. <laughs> She's like a cheese pop. <laughs> She looks like I have to lick her off my fingers. Is there anything redder than this? Doesn't look like it. Oh, she's already. This is only five centimeters shorter than me. 160 is a fucking short game. You don't need to make that your minimum height. Fuck. Yeah, what the fuck? This is so offensive. She's only five centimeters shorter than me, and she's minimum height. You know what? I, I, I guess, you know what? You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. As long as it stops people from making children characters, it's fine. Gotta make a buff. I can't help it. I can't help but see the muscle strength slider at max. Thank you, Yarn, for the dino. Just arrived. Is the customization more better? Is the customization more varied slash better, or is it the same as the first game? Uh, it's definitely more varied. It's more like, um... Focuses more on, like, intricate sliders and shit, rather than just kind of picks it, picking and choosing from a bunch of presets, like the first game was. Like, the game was like... Oh, fucking, um... Like, pick this face shape. But now it's like, you have far more control over what the face actually looks like. So it's better if it sort of details more your thing. Big head. Massive, massive head. Giraffe neck. Everything's maxed out. As it should be. <laughs> That's kind of the, the stature of the DD1 goblins, at least. <laughs> God. <laughs> See you later, Baron. Have a good one. You gotta give a fat belly like a goblin. Can I do that? Maybe that's more lower body. Yeah, yeah, that's more lower body. Okay. I 
feel like the legs should be should be tiny though. <laughs> yeah, torso depth's already maxed. This is how they look in game, bro. <laughs> okay, we can customize her face a bit. I still like one because it's more like squished and awful. I'm having trouble seeing your face, dear. Can you please stand up a bit straighter? Can you give her a receding now? <laughs> What do we give her like a weirdly gorgeous hairstyle? There's like that absolutely like clearly beautiful one here. <laughs> This one's good. You can see the, the patterns on oh, no. it. You, you should shave at this point. Go to that. <laughs> Give her a mohawk. I feel like the mohawk in this game looks a bit too handsome. Oh, it doesn't look handsome on her, never mind. We'll go with that. She's- this is depressing. I feel like I'm doing something immoral. Even though- I just need to remember that it's like... A bunch of fucking pixels and shit on the screen. Just max everything out. <laughs> Whipped cream! <laughs> Quit hating. <laughs> 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 I'll name her whipped. I am pain, but not more pain than she is. <laughs> Face patterns. I'm not giving her a brown nose. If you know, you know. If you don't, I'm not telling you. I give her like bags under her eyes though. She looks like me now. And then, uh, it's number two. I can't boost number two. Damn. <laughs> Dinkus Donkus nose. <laughs>
Wait, nose color. Sheen. Cut that out. Oh, I could give her a little snoot. There we go. That's <laughs> uh. No, she needs big eyes because she ha if she has like massive eyes, it makes her look more miserable and sympathetic. I don't know which one I'm feeling. <laughs> I'll hire this pawn out of pity. <laughs> Tiny eyes. Oh, I should I should change. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to change the eyes. I didn't change the eye size. This is the smallest they go, apparently. Sent you my porn in the Discord. Wait, my mod sent me their, their porn. One sec. Oh my god, look at this guy. Whoa. He looks like a supermodel. What the fuck? Looks better than whatever Psych sent me yesterday. Oh, that's your Arisen, not your porn? Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> Oh, I was looking at the Arisen screen. Yeah, yeah, fair. Alright, send me your porn once you're done. Oh god, okay. Uh, let's go back to torturing this innocent cat, I guess. At least she's got high cheekbones. <laughs> oh, poor thing. I'm uh, definitely deleting this one once I'm done. I can't bear to look at my crimes like this. She's smiling through the pain. Whisker position. It's good enough. <laughs> Did I already do the? No, I didn't. Yeah, we'll we'll customize her teeth. That's <laughs> all we've done. <laughs> oh God. You don't have to pretend in front of us, it's okay. She just has her bottom teeth and nothing else. Now she doesn't even have those. <laughs> Claw colors. Don't ask. Tattoo presets. I've seen people do like weird things with tattoos. I don't know. <laughs> God, I need a shower after watching this. Oh, do we go full dirt? I forgot about dirt.
Where's dirt again? The body. What a miserable walk. <laughs> Welcome home, psych. We're working on whipped cream Garfield. <laughs> Oh, is it in the tattoo section? Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, there it is. My bad. <laughs> she doesn't even look like a Cheeto anymore. Let's go with tattoo presets. You can't even see the tattoos anymore, they're covered by dirt. <laughs> okay, go with this one. <laughs> I looked away for five minutes, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Pitiable arisen. Alright. Do you think she's done? Do you think she's done? I don't think- I, I think I'm, I'm starting to have mercy on her. <laughs> you think she's done? <laughs> done with life? <laughs> Show me the chunk. I'll show you the chunk. Um, yeah, okay. We'll name her and then I'll show you the chunk. Gotta see her in a vocation armor. <laughs> there we go. There's our mage. Oh god, she's lowered her stance again. She's already given up. <laughs> go with that. Finalize. Now we need a name for her. Did we come up? Did we come up with a name while we were while we were um making her whipped cream? That's right. Whipped cream. No wait. Whipped. whipped cream. Yeah. I wa I wasn't sure how I wanted to spell. It doesn't fit. Isn't, wait. It doesn't, doesn't fucking fit. It doesn't fucking fit. <sighs> there we go. Oh my god, the tax credit is so annoying. Monica? From Cicero, the jester from Skyrim. She is a joke. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Claudia. Oh, I was wondering if they had the name Claudine. Let me look up Claudine etymology. So apparently, uh, Claudine is a feminine form of Claude, a Latin Claudius, meaning lame. 
What an awful, awful name. Crocodilia. That sounds weird. Claudine from Monster High. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to have, they have Claudia, but they don't seem to have Claudine. Yeah, they don't. Cliffy, because she wants to jump off a cliff. We'll go with that. Let's return to title and look at our characters. No, sorry, this isn't gonna be my main. I'll show you I'll show you guys my main for any latecomers. This is my main arisen. This right here. Her name is um what's what's her name again? Um Ginnifer or something like that. Okay, and then let's go back. I'll show you Chonk Lord. Here's Chonk Lord. The man, the myth, the legend, close up on face. He's got a tattoo of the rift on his pec. And then he's got some anti-goblin propaganda on his lower back. And then he's just got kind of Grigori chilling on his on his shoulder. Is he caked up? Yeah, he's caked up. Yeah, he's super caked up. How much does Chonk Lord weigh? Um, does it say here? I think I have to go to detailed. Oh, he weighs 143 kilograms. I feel like he could be Chonk. Yeah, shut the fuck up. He's perfect. We spent like two hours on him. One hour. We spent one hour on him. He's already fine. Zoom in on the feet. Maybe the official Dogma account will come back. Good idea. Dragon's Dogma, are you there? I zoomed in on Chonk Lord feet. I don't know. Um, I, uh, I can't. Okay. They aren't coming back. And how, how tall is he again? 215 centimeters. Yeah, the official Dragon's Dogma popped in chat earlier. They like, they were here when we were making Chonk Lord and told me to like max everything out. I think we're done though. I've had my fill of this character creator. Finalize. I will see you in like two weeks, Chonk Lord. I don't really want an official pawn or anything like that. Um. I'd rather Chonk would be a normal pawn and work, like, with the normal mechanics. Yeah, Ginnifer is gonna be a fighter. <sighs> I'd rather not be- I'd rather be independent and not, like, be super affiliated with Capcom, if I can help it. If I'm independent, it means I can kind of just do whatever I want.
Official pawns, um... Official pawns don't, like, are fixed, I think. They don't, like, get stronger or anything. Independent is boring and lonely? That's how I like it. I don't think Capcom will give me money. I don't- I don't see them ever giving me money. At most they'd give me, like, early access, but even then, there's a good chance I might be, like, limited in what I can do. I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about, um, being controlled with, like, being controlled with big- being controlled by big companies and stuff. Should buy you a coffee at least. Oh, I don't drink coffee, sorry. I'm a water drinker. I don't know. I just feel like the stuff I say isn't really brand friendly anyway. Like, I swear a lot. Um, show us whipped, cr whipped cream. I'll show you whipped cream. Here you go. Look at the poor thing. <laughs> Her poor legs. Larry's almost done with his porn. I guess we'll wait around until he finishes. She's whipped, alright. Bro waiting to be deleted. <laughs> <laughs> Become sponsored affiliated with Dragon's <laughs> It's really funny actually. Oh yeah, then there was um Thunder Cakes. Thunder Cakes is my edgelord Khajiit from Skyrim. Pray, delete me. <laughs> Oh, um, psych, I'll show you, uh, Larry's porn again. This is Larry's porn. Uh, sorry, Arisen. This is his, his Arisen. I think it looks pretty good. It's staring into my soul, though. If you want it, you'll have to take it. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Larry, you done with your your porn yet? He's a character creator. Let's admire Chonk Lord again. Wait. Oh, you're on to tattoos? Alright. Um. Back. Actually, JK, let's admire Ginnifer again. Mummy. Sorry. She also has an arrow in the knee tattoo for anyone who missed her birth. Her shoulders are crazy. Yeah, for real. They're perfect. Obviously, she's gonna be a fighter main. And a bit of bit of a warrior too. Gain a thermal like. Awful. Never cook again.
I do wish that we could get his beard a bit bigger. I think if his beard was longer, he'd look almost identical. Like, he'd just look like a 4K version of Chonk Lord 1.0 outright. I'm proud to have made my contribution to your future DD2 streams and videos with the arrow to the knee tattoo. For real, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> If you make his chin under his beard bigger, would it in turn make his beard bigger? Uh, I guess we can try. Chin protrusion, oof. Yeah, he, his chin's already like... His chin's already pretty big. I don't think I can max it out much more. Chin height's bigger. Let's make it a bit longer. I think he looks a bit better like that. Try jaw position, okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to s I guess I'll go with down because it just makes the beard go down. Oh, you sent it? Larry sent his pawn. Oh, she's gonna be a mage? Oh, shit, my bad. Going with the, the white tips, black hair. Classic, classic. This definitely looks like a character you made. You fucking adore your mage women. Surprised she's not an elf. Looks like my aunt. <laughs> Your aunt's a baddie. <laughs> Very smug, yeah, she's she's pretty smug actually. Oh god, I'm am I about to fucking sneeze? Oh, her eyes look like look lavender or something. That's pretty interesting. Mage women do something to me and I like it. You just find them enchanting. <laughs> Shut up. I'm torn between Chunk Lord or Harem Squad. Okay, listen, this is what you do. You make your Arisen a cute girl. You then hire two other cute girls. And then you hire Chunk Lord. And it becomes Chunk Lord's Harem. And then you get bet. You get... You get the best of both worlds. <laughs> it's an amazing idea. I know. I know. Sometimes my brain does work. Rarely, but sometimes. And when it does, it knows how to cook. I prefer dwarves over elves, by the way. That's insane. I never would have expected that from you, to be completely honest. I'm abusing my audience for rift crystals. I'm, t I'm telling him how to make a harem. Jesus. Alright, chat. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Well, actually, you know what, let's just, let's just keep looking at Sean Board. I know how to provide you guys with fan service. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you for so many concurrent viewers. That's, um, that, there was a lot of people. Um. Thank you for the donations. I look forward to seeing these guys again in Dragon's Dogma 2 when it finally comes out. You made Thundercakes art and posted in the Discord server. Nip tattoo, please. No, no nip tattoo. He's already got it on his peck. We've only got two weeks until Dragon's Dogma 2. I'll, um... I'll be streaming less frequently. 
but I'll still do a couple per week. So, good night everyone, thank you, thank you, I don't know how to end streams properly. Good night, children.